Hello beautiful souls, I hope you all are doing well. I'm Anita Svetlana. Welcome to your reading. So this reading is going to be higher self guidance or messages from your higher self. Your higher self always knows what to do. So this is a guidance from your higher self. So as usual, we have three groups. Uh, you can see three images on your screen. Uh, the image on your left is group 1, the image in the center is group 2 and the image on your right is group 3. So go ahead, close your eyes, think about the guidance that you require and choose an image or a group that you are most drawn to. Please remember that this is a general collective reading so please pick up messages that you resonate to. Don't forget to like, comment and consider subscribing as well. I mentioned the timestamps in the description so all you need to do is Choose an image or a group that you're drawn to. Go to the description. There's a timestamp mentioned against each group. If you click on the timestamp, that will take you directly to your reading. All right. Welcome group one. Let's look at your cards. Conquer fear. Coexist, right, and remember your purpose. You know, uh, Sometimes we are in denial. Sometimes it's not only fears that we have. At times we are also in denial. And uh, like this card says, you know, most of your fears are based on illusions. And on truth we deny to avoid changes. And sometimes we fear changes also. You need to release your need for control. You, you are a perfectionist, but you can't always uh, be a perfectionist. You cannot... You know control everything you need to release things that are not in your control and you know you're doing your best also you know at times you do too much and then you just give up you need to stop that that habit of you know giving up you know even if you feel that oh you know what this is not working you need to get up again and try it one more time. Do it till you achieve it, you know. And, and don't give up hope. While you're working on something, don't give up hope. Also, you know, you have a lot of fear of failure. Like, you know, what if you fail? And it's okay. You learn from that failure and you rise up again and you redo things again, okay, in a different way. Let go of your fear, okay? Also, you are so stuck in your past and you're not ready for changes. You need to let go of your past. You need to, you know, uh, be willing to forgive yourself and forgive, uh, you know, for, for everything that has happened in your past. Uh, you need to, uh, once you release all this, you know, uh, ask your angels to help you to clear your mind and body. Okay, work with Archangel Raphael and ask, ask Archangel Raphael to clear your mind and body. And that is when you will find that peace that you're looking for. You need to let go of everything, the fears, the past, uh, you know, the need for control, the need to be perfect, uh, all the resentments, because that all, all of that is blocking you. Okay. And just flow. Let go of that control and just flow. Okay. And even, you know, like I said, just flow. Even if there's chaos around you, there's no need for you to panic. Okay. At times, you know, it is better not to respond. No response is also a response. And I said this yesterday also to someone. No response is also a response. So, you know, might be all the situations or everything doesn't need a response from you. Okay. You need to stay calm and centered. And be as you are without any harm to anyone or anything. Okay.
okay? Just go exist with everybody and go with the flow. And don't make any, uh, see, like I said, no response is also a response. Even if anyone says something to you, remember when people talk about you or say something to you, nobody can make you feel small. Okay? Nobody can make you feel small unless you allow them to, you know, make you feel small. How you respond to how people talk about you or what people say to you is completely in your control. The things that are in your control, you don't want to work on. The things that are not in your control, you want to have a control on. So, you know, be the way you are. Just go with the flow. Okay. You're currently in a very harm. You know, there's a lot of harmony in your life currently. Be in that state. Just be. Okay. And if you're called, you know, writing, writing actually it's a very good outlet. It lets you express everything. You know, it also helps you get a lot of clarity. Okay. And uh, if you're afraid to go with it to, you know, generally most of the people are very, you know, they're afraid to go with it. You know, to still the chaos, you have to go with it. So write. If you don't know how to, how to go within and how to explore your inner self, write that's the best way to get your thoughts out that's the best way to get your fears out to to get you know more clarity about your situation also in case uh, 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 what you can do is not in case in what you can do is you can also start writing gratitudes so you need to be thankful for everything that is uh, in your life the opportunities, the present, the past, the future that is yet to come. So write gratitudes as well. Write gratitudes every day. You can write it, you know, at the beginning of the day of the end or the end of the day. Also, what you can do is write down all your worries or your concerns that you have or your desires. Okay. Write it down. Because that's also a way... Uh, you know, writing is also a way to let the divine know what is it that, that, that you want to let go. What is it that, that you want to allow uh, to come into your life. And that is also a way the angels can help you. The divine can help you. Okay. You need to remember your purpose. Of course, you have a purpose, a special purpose. Everybody has a purpose in life. And if you have found your purpose in life great so remember your purpose okay uh, remember that heaven is within you and remember that you are a light worker you are an earth angel and you have come here to teach about love okay and uh, you have this divine feminine energy inside you okay you need to embrace that fem feminine energy that is within you and express that divine feminine energy that is within you because it is magical and you know embracing that will make you more magical that will make your intuition strong and you do have this nurturing quality you know you have this nurturing quality within you which you know you can share with people okay Let's look at your other cards. Failure. And I did say you do have a fear of failure. And it, and it is okay to fail. It is okay. Because that is an opportunity for you to learn from your mistake. So, understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. Okay. Discipline. So, uh, get some discipline in your life. You know, have... Uh, remember, you can accomplish what you set your mind to. So, stay focused. Stay disciplined. Acceptance. Learning to accept the things that you cannot change. Oh my God, this is so true for you. And this is what I was saying that, you know, let go of things that you have no control over. So you need to accept the things that you cannot change. 
okay service i feel good when i can help others so be of service to others help others like i said you are a light worker you are an earth angel but don't forget to take a proper energy exchange because a lot of times you know we light workers uh, the, we, because you know we are earth angels and we are light workers we hesitate to take an energy exchange but don't forget to take a proper energy exchange or any energy exchange that you feel is appropriate okay let's look at some more cards workshop and seminar oh i pulled out two cards these are two cards one second mm -mm. very important to cut cords okay so workshop and seminars attending and giving speech is a part of your spiritual path and purpose be open to teaching and learning so in case you're called to attend a workshop or a seminar go ahead and and do that okay cut cords so very important so cut cords to clear any old attachments to fear that stems from your past relationship freeing yourself from the dis destructive pattern so work with archangel michael cut cords with everything that doesn't serve you any purpose all your past all your fears uh, you know let go let go and just cut cords okay crown chakra so pay attention to to your ideas has their messages from true true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers so uh, like I, I said that you know uh, when you accept your divine feminine energy your intuition will get strong and you will get the divine guidance okay so make a note of those messages you can write those messages because you have a message to write as well so write those messages throat chakra so the angels are helping you lovingly speak your throat so it's time you speak your throat and speak your truth with, with compassion and love okay so that's all i have for you group one i hope you resonated to the reading and the messages and i will see you next time for your next reading thank you Welcome group 2. Let's look at your cards. Forgive and release. Co-create. Be nimble. And dream bigger. okay so you know what you've been carrying a lot of uh, wounds from your past okay and uh, you need to let go of your past you need to forgive yourself and release your past you know you need to learn uh, uh, what is it that you've learned from your past and you need to keep those uh, lessons that you have learned from your past without holding on to those wounds without holding on to your past hurts you know you need to acknowledge your wounds before they can be healed especially the unseen ones you know you need to heal you need to give your time uh, sorry give yourself the time space and whatever is required to become whole again okay and you know that is what is going to find you help you find a balance and it will help you find the peace that you're looking for within you need to let go of your past you need to let go of your regrets because you cannot change the past you cannot change the past so you need to to let go of all the regrets that you're holding on to and uh, work with archangel michael to to clear all your old attachments you know cut cords with all your old attachments uh, cut cut cords with all your old fears uh, cut cords with all your past relationships because you are into this destructive pattern so you need to cut cords so that you can break that pattern and get out of that pattern 
and once you do that you know you need to cleanse yourself ask the angels to release any toxic energies that are still there within you okay or that you might have absorbed so you know do some aura cleansing and cleanse yourself remember that you have the power you have the power and you have the free will to create your own happiness only you can create your own happiness you can't rely on someone else for your happiness okay and um, you need to work with uh, with others work, work as a team to create new possibilities you know uh, cooperative relations lead to greater growth so 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 figure out who is it that you need to find uh, you know whom whom you need to partner with to work and go create also you need to find again you need to find balance and do things in moderation you know uh, don't swing from one end to the other end and you know sometimes at times you know what you do is you go from one extreme to the other extreme and that sometimes puts you puts you out of balance so so do that and listen to your intuition your your intuition is strong and you are receiving divine guidance so listen to your intuition okay and act on that intuition and while you're working with others have patience okay have some patience you know wait because things are working you know in the uh, you know things are let, let things unfold naturally the divine is working and whatever you do make choices you have a choice so 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 make choices make choices from your heart okay and uh, ask for help when you need help be be it it's not only about asking for help okay uh, when we ask for help you should also be open to receiving help from anywhere you should be flexible you know when that helps or uh, uh, well when that help arrives and it can come in any form but you know at times we what we do is oh let me ask for help from this person and you you rely only on one door but you fail to see that there are other magical doors and you know those can also open for you so when you ask help or when you ask for anything just surrender that request and and let it come it will come up in an unexpected form and be, because you have a lot of fears okay you also have fear of failure fear of success also you have okay you don't know whether you will succeed or no uh, and you do have this fear of failure so don't limit yourself dream big you know let go of your insecurities and dream big start working on what is it that you really want and this co create will follow so don't don't limit yourself also if you're called to work with the uh, crystals you know work with crystals figure out which crystal is calling out for you and uh, work with crystals okay sorry 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 let's look at your other cards love so commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things you know look at everything with the eyes of love in decision so use your intuition in all aspects of your life your intuition is strong so work with your intuition okay use your intuition denial i acknowledge my fear but i replace it with the insight of awareness so let go of your fears in case you are in denial just be aware okay about what is happening what is it that you need to do what is it that you need to let go relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my highest good and this should be your affirmation okay that you should attract only people who serve you who who are for your highest good okay
fairies. So you have a strong bond with fairies and your life purpose involves helping Mother Earth. So work with Mother Earth, spend some time in the nature, step outside, work, 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 uh, you know, with Mother Earth, you know, might be you can uh, uh, work in your garden, go sit under the moonlight to get that guidance that you require about what is it that you need to do. God box. Write any worries, concerns or desires on a piece of paper that you put in a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So write, write what is, write down your worries, write down your desires, write down your situation. And you know, that is also a way of getting more clarity. Okay. Parents. So the divine truth is that your parents, one second. that your parents love you to the best of their abilities. The angels are helping you to heal from any pain associated with mother or father. So in case you have any, uh, you know, uh, parent healing, you know, mother healing or father healing to be done, this is the right time to do it. Sorry, I, I need to. Okay, let's, let's look at your last card. Sacral Chakra. So, you're highly sensitive to chemicals and Sacral Chakra is also about relationships. So, you're highly sensitive to chemicals, addictives, uh, processed food and energies right now. Respect your sensitivity by avoiding ha hash, harsh, sorry, harsh items, situations and relationships. No doubt you had this card, you know, attract people who are only, uh, who serve your highest good so that you stay away from, you know, relationships that no longer serve you any purpose. And work with Archangel Michael on that. All right. So that's all I have for you, group two. I hope you resonated to the reading and the messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you. Welcome group three. Let's look at your cards. Mm. Moon. Go create. Right. And coexist. Okay. You know, it is it is very important to release all the pain that you have, especially if you're grieving. And, uh, you know, that cleanses you uh, by letting your feelings wash through you. Okay. And uh, there's a reason why we moan and we, we you know, let, do that cleansing through grieving because that's how that helps you move past the pain that you are holding on to and remember that no matter whatever has happened you know you must be feeling lost defeated completely fallen to the ground types but remember you need to rise up you need to rise up you can't be there forever you need to rise up and don't give up hope you know everything is not lost uh, this message might not resonate for all but for some of the some of you okay some of you are grieving are in a painful twin flame relationship and that is the reason you're going through a lot of pain okay and because of the twin flame relationship uh, also you have a lot of fears you know surrounding the pain that you're going through it's time for you to release all that fear it's time for you to release all that pain it is try time for you you know at times you know we we deny uh, the changes and we are in denial it's time to get out of that denial state and it's time for you to accept the truth and you know 
Don't try and avoid the changes that are happening in your life. Release or your need for control, okay? And let go of that fears. Work with Archangel Michael. Work with Archangel Michael to cut cords and help you release from things that don't serve you any purpose. And uh, work with people, work with, 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 with others to create new possibilities. You know, maybe that will help you get a balance in your life again. Okay? And uh, have patience. You know, wait and, you know, in case you feel that you're not moving forward, wait, pause. Work on yourself, heal yourself, and then move forward. So have patience. Have patience with yourself. Okay? And uh, also because of what you're going through, you have a lot of negative thoughts in your mind. Okay? So choose to, choose, choose to have positive thoughts. It's a choice that we make, right? So choose to have positive thoughts, you know, Describe your situation, whether it's your home, your career, your finance. You know, describe the outcome only as a positive outcome. So work on yourself to have positive thoughts. You know, don't, don't uh, you know, surround yourself. You, you have too many negative thoughts, you know, running across your mind. Still your mind. Okay. Oh. right okay so writing is one of the best way to express your thoughts and uh, uh, it also gives you more uh, more clarity about yourself it gives you clarity about uh, your situation so put down all your pain on a paper all that you're going through put it put it down go within and 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 when you do that reflection do do spend some time in meditation okay do that re reflection and uh, introspection within you and when you when when you when you are out of your meditation sit down and journal and write okay explore your inner world also don't forget to write gratitudes okay you need to be thankful for everything that is happening in your life you need to be thankful for the opportunities that are being presented to you currently in your life okay write down write down gratitude write down your concerns write down your worries write down what is it that you would like to manifest write journal you know it is it's a very good writing is a is a good way of letting go also you will get more clarity about what is it that you need to do or you'll get more clarity on your situation and more awareness about yourself and uh, be yourself be you don't harm anyone or anything or anybody including yourself okay so so be yourself remember that you know in case you know you are going through a lot of pain you know and and at times when there are conflicts or when you're going through pain people say hurtful things to each other Remember that nobody can make you feel small or nobody can make you, you know, you don't have to believe everything that is being said to you. You are not that. So just be yourself. Like I said, nobody can make you feel small or, you know, unless you allow them to. So you don't need to believe everything that is being said to you. You know, sometimes in a rage of anger, People tend to say things, so you don't need to believe everything that is being said to you. You have a you you have a complete control about how you respond to that. That is entirely in your control. Okay, so remember that, and you know try and help people around you. Be be of service to people around you because that will make you feel really good. And choose to focus on the lighter side of life, okay? Oh my God. This is too heavy for me. Okay? 
Let's look at your other cards. Regret. So remember that you cannot change the past. So let go of your past and let go of the regret that you have because you cannot change it. Empathy. Be open to seeing both the sides of the situation. Okay. Imagination. Embrace and nourish the creative aspect of your mind. Success. Know that there is no greater goal than to love. Okay. You need to focus on love. You need to see love in, in, in the situation that you're going through. Okay. Be willing to forgive. And this is so apt for you. You, you really need to uh, be willing to forgive your past. Especially forgive yourself. You know, the most difficult thing a person to forgive is ourselves. So be willing to forgive yourself as well. Work with Archangel Raphael. Okay. Ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange of peace. So... Work with Archangel Raphael. Ask him to heal your heart chakra. Ask him to heal your heart and all the pain that you're carrying. Okay? Crown chakra. So pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent and answers to your prayers. So you do have imagination. You need to nourish the creative aspect of your mind and pay attention to the ideas you're getting and write down those ideas. Okay. Solarplex Chakra. So it is safe for you to be powerful and take charge of your life in a positive way. Yes, you are powerful. You, like I said in the beginning, rise up. You need to rise up. You know, okay, you, you are grieving. You are going through pain. But you need to grow and you need to move. So rise up. Be in your power. Stand in your power. Okay. And take charge of your life. And work with Archangel Michael. Goddess, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing quality. So embrace yourself. Embrace the energies that you have. Embrace the magical quality that you have. The, embrace the magic within you. And, 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 and see how it's going to change your life. Okay? So... That's all I have for you, Group 3. I hope you resonated to the reading and the messages. And I will see you next time for your next reading. Thank you.